Welcome to my week one match of the UNPL Academy League. This week, my team, the Minnesota Golden Goes, is taking on Banana, coach of the Melbourne Marowaks. If you want to watch the team builder so that you know who we're bringing and why we're bringing it, keep watching. But if you're just interested in the Wi Fi game, you can skip ahead to this timestamp. Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, my name is Demigod Schmidt here, and I am your coach of the Minnesota Golden Goes. Welcome to week one week one the unpl academy league this week we're facing off against banana coach of the melbourne marowax one of my harder matchups for the season just you'll you'll see when we reveal the team the week one man week one week one we're doing this we're doing this. There's no turning back now. <laughs> There's no turning back now. Um, we are here. We're going to do this. Let's talk about this matchup. So this week, my opponent has a team of Latios, Greninja, Petrarunt, Scizor, Primarina, Dunfan, Meloetta, Incineroar, Haunter, Servine, and Glimmit. A couple things worth noting. Stealth Rocks with Dunfan and Glimmit. Spikes with Glimmit. Don Fan, no, not Don Fan. Glimmit and Greninja. Uh, Defog in Scizor, Rapid Spin in uh, Don Fan. Toxic Spikes with Glimmit and Petrarunt and Greninja. Intimidate with Incineroar. And Latios is Latios. <laughs> That's the thing. Freaking, how do I beat freaking Latios in this matchup, dude? Here's, like, Latios was really the, the biggest issue here. Like, obviously, Petrarunt. Petrarunt is, is new, is interesting. Huge base defense stat, really good typing. Scizor is Scizor. Greninja is Greninja. Incineroar obviously has Intimidate. Primarina was a sleeper threat, though, that we had to prep for. Um, because that thing with AV just sits there. And if it has Calm Mind, well... That, that thing is going to sweep teams, because I can't break it specially. It's inherently physically bulky. Great typing. Uh, another thing about his uh, team, Terra Captains. Meloetta, uh, Meloetta's Terra typings are normal, fairy, and electric. Haunter's Terra typings are... Uh, poison, electric, and dark. And Servine has grass, fire, and stellar. So let's go ahead. Let's freaking talk about this team. First mon we brought this week is Sarmite the Backscalibur. Choice Band, Thermal Exchange with Ice Shard, Glaive Rush, Earthquake, and Thunderfang. Adamant Nature, 208 EVs in attack, 176 in defense, and 124 in speed. With this stat spread, Bax is mostly taking the role of a revenge killer this week. Uh, with our speed, we are outspeeding Jolly, Max Speed, Incineroar, and Primarina, and we're potentially speed creeping Petrarunt. If it doesn't want to run as much speed um we are not dying with our defense to a adamant max attack incineroar from close combat after rocks we are barely living that hit uh we're taking 92.1 percent from adamant max attack choice band technician says or bullet punch which means we are living that move uh whether or not we ko in return kind of depends on his spread uh, we're 2 going Max Defense Primarina with Thunderfang after Rocks, so if I can get my Rocks up during this match, uh, we should be good on that front uh, to 2 co that thing. That is why we have Thunderfang, because uh, Banded Backs is just kind of doing Banded Backs things, and uh, with enough damage on Primarina, we should be able to close out a KO on that thing with Thunderfang. Uh, at minus 1 defense uh, from Close Combat, Glaive Rush is just dropping Incineroar. Which is really insane. Uh, and we're also 2 coing Max Defense Petrant with Earthquake after Rocks, which is really which is really good. Obviously, again, massive fucking defense stat. Um, we're dealing 51% to Max HP, Max Defense, Bold Latios. Which means that if he is not, like, the absolute Max Defensive Potential, we are punching a hole in this Latios. Um, which is good, because that thing is a fucking problem. Dude, it's Dragon and Psychic. Look at how much that beats in my team. Backs if I don't have Ice Shard. Infernape. Weezing. Uh, depending on my sets, it just beats freaking everything, dude. It's such a good freaking mon. And the thing is, it got buffed this gen. 
because uh, now Luster Purge is base 90 power and still has a 50% chance to lower my special defense by one stage. What the hell, Game Freak? What the hell, Game Freak? Another thing about Bags, actually, it's a it's a very threatening lead. I do plan to lead with it during this game. Uh, it's just chunking so much of his team, and we are not losing. We, we are we are not getting dropped by Scizor. So we can like ban banded earthquake, and then we can double out into something. Uh, if he leaves with that, again, like I said, we're uh, two coing max defense Petrarunt. We're two coing max defense Primarina. Um, Greninja is something I have to be wary about with this set because it's Greninja. But uh, oh, and Meloetta too, of course. Um, and like Inc Incineroar Intimidate. There's a lot of things that I gotta be wary about. But like Bax as a lead and a revenge killer, I think is going to be very, very good during this matchup. Next mod we're bringing to this game is Moo the Mew. Level 100, obviously, why did I say the level? <laughs> uh, I'm new to this, I'm new to this. Uh, we are bringing Weakness, Policy, Mew, Synchronize, Stored Power, Draining Kiss, Calm Mind, Iron Defense, Timid Nature, 248 HP, 44 in Defense, 216 in Speed. What this is allowing us to do is we are speed tying modest max speed Latios. I don't know why we didn't make it so that I outsped modest max speed Latios. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, we are taking 92.3% from Adamant, Max Attack, Choice Band, Knock Off from Donphan, which then will activate my Weakness Policy, and then I'll get that Calm Mind up, and at plus 3 Special Attack from my Calm Mind and my Weakness Policy, we are taking out Max HP, Max Special Defense, Adamant, Donphan, to its sturdy, with our Stored Power, which is insane. And again, we're outspeeding that thing, too. We're dealing 33.5% of max HP, max special defense, calm Latios with Draining Kiss. And Dragon Pulse isn't going to kill us after recovery. Uh, I believe even if it's specs, but I'm not, like, 100% on that. Um, there's no, like, super obvious opportunity for me to set up Calm Mind. But it would probably have to be the turn that something is hitting into my weakness policy. Like min attack incineroar or like i said knockoff from donphan or scissor or a ghost move from petrarunt i don't know if i take dark pulse that well from gren because i don't have a lot of special defense investment but it would have to be a turn like that but once i can do that mew is going to very quickly snowball this team if i can get it in at the right time and that's like the key here if i can get it in at the right time I do expect him to bring Meloetta to this game because it's just good. I I don't like the fact that it's allowed to Terra in this league. That Mon, that that Mon is insane. <laughs> Mew is the win con. If if we can get this sweep, that would be insane. But you know, like I said, I'm fighting the Latios. The God is against me here. Uh, but yeah, that that is our Mew set this week. Next Mon we are bringing to this game is Titania the Skarmory. Uh, Heavy Duty Boots with Sturdy, Whirlwind, Rocks, Roost, and Body Press. 252 EVs in HP, 252 in Defense, 4 in Special Defense with an Impish Nature. This Mon is just here to click Body Press, and it is here to click Body Press on two things, and their names are Scizor and Donphan. This is just supposed to be- oh, and I guess- I guess Incineroar too, assuming that we- I mean, we take a Flare Blitz because of Sturdy. Um... This thing is just here to click body press, set up rocks, and be annoying. I do have rocks. I said rocks. God, my memory is awful, dude. I have TikTok brain, and I'm not even on TikTok. <laughs> um, we have Whirlwind on this set. Uh, Jacob said that it was a good idea. I I trust his judgment, frankly. Uh, even though I don't see like a good opportunity where I click it. Um, potentially like if Prime Arena is stalling me out and I'm, like, taking repeated water moves, potentially I click it then? But even then, like, I, I don't like the randomness of what he goes out to. Like, any any chance he could go out to, like, Incineroar and kill me, or he could go out to Donphan and cripple me with knockoff, or Greninja and just do Greninja things. Because well, the thing with Greninja is it can be either be Protean, Torrent, or Battle Bond. Obviously, Battle Bond is super scary, um... Or it could just go out to friggin' Petrarunt and it hit me with Shadow Balls because I have lower special defense. Or, again, the ultimate issue is 
what does Latios bring? I fully expect him to bring Energy Ball and Latios, which we're gonna talk about my Gastrodon set in a minute here. Skarmory is just here. Like I said, set up rocks, heal, body press, be kind of annoying, and just be physically defensive. Next mon we are bringing is Firebrand the Infernape. Leftovers with Iron Fist, Substitute, Fire Punch, Knock Off, and Close Combat. Jolly Nature, 240 in HP, 68 in attack, 84 in defense, 4 in special defense, and 112 in speed. What is this MV looking EV spread? I couldn't tell you. Infernape is actually meant to sort of take a more supportive role this week. Um, because I'm dealing with a team as top heavy as Bananas, I gotta worry about just having that mon that's kind of there to be a nuisance. And being able to click knockoff and having some bulk investment on my set is actually kind of a good thing. And I naturally outspeed Scizor, and I'm with Iron Fist, Fire Punch is of course doing more damage. Close combat obviously is just punching a hole in anything. And then we have Sub, because Infernape, like I said, is just meant to be annoying this week. Infernape is meant to be annoying this week, play a more supportive-ish role and get some hits in where it can. Next mon we are bringing is Slugger the Gastrodon with a Rindo Berry, Storm Drain, Recover, Clear Smog, Surf, and Earth Power, Calm Nature, 252 EVs in HP, 4 in Special Defense, or er, 4 in Special Attack, 252 in Special Defense. With this investment, we are taking 92% from a modest max special attack Life Orb Energy Ball from Latios at plus one with Calm Mind, thanks to our Rindo Berry. And at that point, we are clicking Clear Smog. And again, that's assuming he is Life Orb. He could very easily just be like Choice Specs or something like that. Or maybe he's even like Leftovers with Flip Turn. Point is, we are clearing this thing set up with Clear Smog. We are stopping Latios and Prime Arena and clearing Battle Bond from Greninja. We are just stopping all of that with Gastron. We are switching this thing in on water moves because of its Storm Drain ability. This thing is going to sit in front of Greninja, is going to sit in front of Latios if and if, with its most powerful hit possible against it, even if it wants to flip turn out. It is going to sit in front of Prime Arena. Gastrodon is just going to sit there. It's going to sit in front of Donphan too and hit it with Surfs. It is going to sit there. It is going to eat hits. It is going to recover them off. We're banking on Rindo Berry here to stop Latios from sweeping us. If he's Calm Mind, I do expect him to bring set up Latios because it's just very good into my team. I don't have many obvious answers to it. So that is our Gastrodon this week. And the final member of the team we are bringing this week is Retrograde the Skun Tank. We are bringing Assault Vest, Aftermath, Acid Spray, Dark Pulse, Sludge Wave, and Flamethrower, Calm Nature, 144 in HP, 12 in Defense, 248 in Special Defense, and 104 in Speed. With this set, we are taking 61% from Modest Max Special Attack, Life Orb, Draco Meteor, from Latios. And see, that's why I expect him to bring Calm Mind, is to set up after those Draco Meteors. We are taking 61%, and we are then clicking freaking Acid Spray, or we're just punching a hole in this thing with Dark Pulse. At minus two special defense from an Acid Spray, this thing is taking 53.2%, which is guaranteed to put it in range of Bax's Ice Shard, even if it's the most defensive set possible. That is insane. We are never losing to Latios with this investment. Somehow. Like this, this, this sounds honestly stupid. <laughs> this sounds improbable. Because it's a scun tank. This mon ain't shit, dude. This mon is, this mon is garbage. But it, it supposedly is supposed to be able to take Draco Meteor from Latios while only taking 61%. Sure, Game Freak. Sure. I'll trust the numbers on this one. Sure, Game Freak. Being special, obviously, is going to help against Patcherunt as well, because while well, it has 160 base defense, the rest of its stats are 88. And we have Flamethrower for Scizor as well. Skuntank is sort of meant, like, to just be the Latios check. I have not had good experiences with this mod. I just want this to be a decent experience with Skuntank. I just want... Skuntank to kill a Latios. That is all Skuntank is here to do. If Skun if Retrograde can kill a Latios, that will redeem this mon in my eyes. 
because Latios is just made to destroy my team. So if Skuntank, the hero of heroes, is somehow able to do this, that would be amazing. But I'm not going to count my chickens till they hatch. And I'm going to play this thing very, very carefully with our speed EVs. We're outspeeding max speed Adam and Scizor. That is, that is Skuntank this week. All right, y'all, that is the team we are bringing for week one. Let's cut into this game. I will see you guys there. Peace. Angelo. Okay. He brought Gren. No Petcherunt. No Petcherunt is interesting. You too, my G. And from here on, I'm going to put the phone away. And on Do Not Disturb. Okay, phone is being put over here. No Petcherunt. He does bring Meloetta. That thing is definitely Terra Fairy. He didn't bring... What did he... Not? No Primarina is crazy. <gasps> no Primarina is crazy. He's already standing by. He already knows what he's leading. Um, okay, that's interesting. I definitely wish that I brought Special Scizor. Especially looking at no Primarina! Mmm, what do I want to lead? I think Bax is- Bax is a decent lead. Bax is a decent lead. He pretty much brought everything that I expected. Except he brought- he brought Greninja, and he did not bring Primarina or Petra. Bax is a decent lead. If- if- if nothing else, I can probably just like- I can swap it to- I can, I can swap out to uh, Gastrodon. I have Recover. I, I can swap out to Ape on things. Latios is obviously the difficult thing. Latios is the difficult thing. Scizor is going to be fine to play around, I think. Scizor is going to be fine to play around. Uh, let's go to Capture Card. Let's uh, full screen projector this. Uh, I just went with the gym theme, by the way. I just went with the gym theme. Move my mouse off to the side here. Alright, good luck, guy. I didn't customize my trainer card before this. Average tusks. Okay, that is the Don fan. Uh, how much am I dealing to max defense Don fan again? How much am I dealing to Don fan? Two fifty two, two fifty two. Uh, let's say uh, just a defense raising nature. Uh, I think he just wants to get rocks here. This is a good lead for him. Uh, I'm gonna go to Gastrodon. I'm gonna threaten him out. If he gets up rocks, that's fine. I mean, it's not, but that's fine. If he gets up rocks, obviously I can't bring backs back in as many times as I want, but I mean, that's fine-ish. There's always the chance that he doesn't know that Skuntank or <laughs> Skyrim <Skyrie> lost. <laughs> lost, uh, Defog. <laughs> Although he could think that, like, I'm maybe I'm Boots. Okay, I switch out. Uh, I think I'm faster than him, so... Yeah, I am faster. Guaranteed. He does switch. Okay. What does he bring out? I beat Paper. Uh, Scizor. How much am I taking from Bug Bite here? Uh, Gastrodon, Scizor. If I can type, Scizor, uh, Adamant, Max Attack, Technician, Bug. Bites. I'm taking 52%. I ain't dealing shit back. Uh, I... I don't want to switch too many times. I have Recover. He can dual wing beat if I go to Ape. He can actually predict me here. I'm gonna go Skarmory. I'm just gonna switch again. I'm just gonna switch out to Skarmory again. Bring in Titania. You turn good play. Good play. Breaks my sturdy. Unfort. I don't have Roost anymore, actually. I think Scar- Yeah, Skarm lost Roost. Or did it lose Roost? I don't know. I don't have Roost. Am I stupid? 
I don't remember what I'm what I brought to be completely honest. Not fully anyway. Uh, let's see. Incin could come out here. Incineroar, I think, is very likely to come out here. Did I lose? No, I do still have a roost. I only lost, uh... That's right. Meloetta! Okay, so he's Terra... So he has... He's Terra Electric Charge Beam. Good to know. Uh, how much is that doing to me? <laughs> I'm gonna assume the answer is quite a bit. Meloetta... Let's... Terra type is Electric Charge... Beam. Let's also test Thunderbolt. Let's say max special attack modest. And let's go to Scott. Uh Thunderbolt is blanking me. Charge book charge beam is from this range likely blanking me. I don't have my sturdy anymore because he broke it. Um what do I want to do here? He could also just as easily be fairy. I can't safely set up rocks. I'm gonna go back to Gastrodon. I've done nothing but attack this turn. <laughs> or this game yet. I need to make some aggressive plays. I'm gonna assume he's threatening Terra Electric. Terra Electric looks fine into my team overall. He does bring Thunderbolt! Oh! Oh, you bastard! You bastard! Okay. Okay. Uh, Gastrodon to this thing is doing 43%. Let's see. Dazzling Gleam from Terra Fairy. That ain't doing shit. Let's see. Hyper... Voice from Terra Normal is also not doing shit. I am free to set... I am... Do I want to surf? Do I want to surf? Looking at his his team, uh, check target. Here we go. Yeah, I'm good with surf. Cause surf hits the Latios. <laughs> I'm actually excited, dude. <laughs> really excited. Yeah, he does swap here. That's that's a good play. Gamahi. Okay, we're ninja. Um. Let's see how much Dark Pulse is doing to me here. Let's see how much Modest Dark Pulse is doing to me here. Dark Pulse. That ain't doing shit. That ain't doing shit. Uh. Do I just want to surf again? Oh, but he could be Grass Knot. He could be Grass Knot. I think you get grass knot. Um. Fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. Trailblaze. You are physical? Fuck! Fuck! He's physical, Gren! And he's battle bond! Oh, you bastard! <laughs> Okay, okay, hang on. I don't know what range that is. Surely, Bax is killing this, even if it's the most offensive thing on the planet. I think it is barely a roll. If he has the absolute most max defense, it is barely a roll. I am going out to my Bax here. I am going out to my Bax here. Bax also makes him not want to. Okay, he does swap. Uh, Scissor could come out. I beat Paper. Yep. Good switch. Really good switch. Really good switch. Okay, now he's put me in a position where I need to go to Infernape. Trailblaze! That is wild. That is wild. I feel like I just turned my brain off here and go Infernape. He could, he could totally dual wing beat me right here. Honestly, oh wait, I, I should have gone to Skarmory. I should have gone to Skarmory. That's a, okay, this turn is a misplay. This turn's a super misplay. This turn's a super misplay on my end. Honestly, I want him to dual wing beat me. I want him to. He's probably gonna U-turn. He knows I have to swap though. 
Really good switch on his part. Really good switch that turn. I should have repowered. Bullet punch. Staying in. Okay. Uh, I think I can set up a sub this turn. Honestly, I think I can set up a sub this turn. Uh, how much was that doing to me? Uh, oh, I didn't get the number before it went away. Uh, let's see. Scizor. Uh, let's go to my Infernape. Let's see. Max Attack Adamant. And let's see. Bullet Punch is doing 14% at most. That's putting me at 86%. It's doing slightly more than that. But... Yeah, I'm gonna sub. I'm gonna sub this turn. Switches. Okay, I got the free sub. What's he bring in? What's he bring in here? Average tusks. Okay. This is probably gonna be where he gets his rocks up. But I am free to click knock off this turn. He could be Rocky Helmet. It could be Rocky Helmet, but I feel like he wants to be Boots or or uh, Lefties against me. I'm knockoffing. I'm clicking knockoff. I'm not even thinking about it. I still can't get over Trailblaze Greninja. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am faster, obviously. That did nothing. Wow. Okay, not Rocky Helmet. Boots. Yep, that makes sense. EQ. Okay. That's fine. I am not U-turn. I will just swap here. Uh, I will switch out to... I don't want to bring Mew in this early. I definitely don't want to bring in Stuntang on this thing. So it's going to be Skarmory. It's going to be Skarmory this turn. I'm going right out to Skarm. He, he's free to set up his rocks, is the thing. And he knows it. If he's... I, 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 I do predict he will click rocks this turn. Because I have to go Skarm. Actually, I could have gone... Mm, well, how much was I doing to that Dawn fan? That has got to be some kind of defensive set for me to only do that much with knockoff. Well, actually, that could be like 14%. That wasn't a quarter, that's for sure. I don't have the, like, thing that some people use, like the HP bar thing. That's got to be like 14%. So, that's not that much investment, if any at all. I do have to switch here, though. And he knows it. Uh, I'm predicting rocks this turn. Yeah. That makes sense. Now, the thing on his part, though, is that he could click Ice Spinner. He could also click Rapid Spin. I think I'm gonna get up my own rocks. Oh, no. If he could, if he clicks Rapid Spin, though. Am I faster than him? With Titania? With Titania, am I faster... Speed does he need to be faster than me? He needs 164 EVs. I'm not doing much with body press. I want to click whirlwind this turn, I think. No, I want to set my rocks up. If he's rapid spin, that's fine. Okay. Oh, that that's fine. That's fine. Adele. Adele comes in. Okay. Um, now we know he is Thunderbolt, and he knows that I know he is Thunderbolt, so he will not go for that this turn. Uh, if anything, would he go Gleam? Would he go Gleam, or would he just go Thunderbolt again? I mean, I think either way, I can actually just go to Gastro down here, and then the next turn I can recover. There are now rocks up on both sides of the field, but Gastro don't resist. Um, Bax is weak, obviously. Skarmory is... Not weak, but doesn't resist. Ape obviously also doesn't resist. It's really bad for Skun Tank against his Latios, though. It's a good thing that he's not brought it out yet. It's smart on his part. What does he? What does he go for? Rel! <laughs> you bastard! Wait, he's mixed? Oh, oh, this changes things. This match is wild, dude. Mellow what a pirouette. Uh, so he can't be adamant or modest. He's got to be one or the other. 
Uh, I'm gonna assume modest. No, 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 no. Well, maybe. Let, let's calc the worst case scenario. Okay, let's see. Does it get close combat? I don't know. I'm still... Oh, wait, no, I'm Skarmory. Uh, Gastrodon. Well, I'm not chewing at close combat, but I don't know what this thing gets. Uh, Cerebi Melouette. Uh, I assume he is not close combat. I assume he does not get that. He does get that. That is crazy. And that's with no investment. That's just adamant. Ooh. Uh, I think I need to make a sack here. You guys go for it. That's really bad. That's really bad. I just ran out of time. Meloetta KOs Gastrodon with CC. Okay, how much damage is Bax doing to this thing at half defense? Nothing. Not, not enough. Not enough is the correct answer for that. Honestly? What do I want to do here? What's my Mew look like in this match? I'm out speeding, so I can set up iron defense. That's really bad. That's really bad losing Gastrodon that early. I'm gonna go to Mew. Do you get any dark moves that can pop my weakness policy? Gets knock. But knock. How much is knock doing? 54 to 64%. But I'm out speeding. I'm gonna click iron defense. Switches. That's fine? Is that fine? Is that fine? Nacho. What's Nacho? Insane. Makes sense. But here's where we get the tech. Although he has, he has, uh, what's it called? Darkest Lariat. How much is Darkest Lariat doing to me? Wow, I am on, I am on the defense, bro. There's no way he didn't bring Lariat. Darkest Lariat is doing 64%, which will pop my weakness policy. I am out... Mm, am I outspeeding? I am outspeeding. Okay. Am I... How much am I doing at plus three? Jack shit. <laughs> I'm doing jack shit at plus three. But I... Mm, yeah, dude, losing Gastrodon is really bad. I'm gonna go up to Firebrand. I cannot stay in this turn. I cannot stay in this turn. I did not expect Relic Song. That's wild. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I'll just have to do that. I don't like that. Uh... Darkest. Okay, so he's definitely invested. That did a lot more than it should have. That did not. That did way more than 27%. You are, cho are you choice ban? You have got to be choice ban. You have got to be choice ban. Uh, wait, no, he's boots. He's boots. But I am outspeeding. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Switches. Fair. Average tusks. Okay, now we're in the same scenario that we were in earlier. I'm gonna CC this thing. I'm gonna CC this thing. He sees that I want to click it. Gastro on... Dude, losing Gastrodon is so big this early, man. It's so big. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Alright, uh, I'm clicking CC. I'm not even thinking about it. That crit is big. That crit is so huge. I don't think I'm doing that much without a crit. 
In fact, I don't think I'm killing. That has got to be more than 30%. That has got to be more than 30%. Yeah, it is. That has got to be more than 30%. He's got to be high defense, too. But at this point, I'm behind. I got to make crazy plays. I'm going to go for it. I think the crit matters. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah, that was more than 30%. That's... That really sucks. Shit. <laughs> I mean, in my defense, though, what else was I supposed to do in that situation? Don fan, KOs, Infernate with EQ. Okay. Now, though, his Don Fan cannot come back in, so I feel like he just lets this thing rock. Honestly, I want to bring in Mew and click Calm Mind. He could also just knock here, though. Do I want to bring Titania in? I'm going to bring in Titania and click Whirlwind this turn. I'm going to bring in Titania and click Whirlwind this turn. <clears throat> Spin. Makes sense. Fair. Fair play. Get this thing off my screen. This could either be really good or really bad. That sucks. <laughs> um, but we've kind of sort of prepared for this. Obviously, I don't have Infernape to knock anymore. Uh, there's no way he's not running modest. I mean, he could be jolly, but... Skuntank. I'm gonna set my rocks back up. T bolt. Mm. I didn't count for that. I didn't count for that. I didn't count for T bolt. That. Oh, wow. I'm. Oh, dude. But how. Okay. That's information, though. Uh, let's see to Skarmory. T bolt. Okay, so he has to have some investment. Or specs. Or soul do. He could also be soul do. Uh, soul do does nothing to T bolt, right? But he has to be like a good amount of investment because I was at I had only taken like the yeah. That's got to be that's got to be like max special attack. So if I go out to Skun Tank this turn, which I kind of have to. Dragon Pulse. Also worth noting, I didn't see Life Orb pop, but... I'm going to Retrograde. I don't know if I can pull this back because I lost my Fire-type, uh, and I think Scizor cleans me from here. I'm clicking Acid Spray. I take 61% from Modest, Max Special Attack, Life Orb, Draco. And then honestly, I I can dark pulse. I can dark pulse. I I think the roll on the yeah I think he had to have some HP investment on Don Fan. Uh, let me see, Scizor. It'll be very very hard to come back from this. I don't know if it's impossible. Uh, that's right. I already did calc this. Uh, I do not kill the. Okay, he switches out the Latios. That's fine. I assume Scizor here then. Nacho! Incineroar! Why? Oh, you get EQ. That's why. I do not want to get 6 0 to week 1. <laughs> That'd be really, really bad. Okay, okay. Let's see how much uh, Incin is taking from this. 
Because I have, I have Sludge Wave. Yeah, I do. Uh, let's say Calm. Or, well, Careful. To be... Okay. And you took... How much from Acid Spray? Looks like about 7%. So yeah, you are definitely specially invested. I'm clicking it again. I predict a switch to Scizor here. I do not want to get 6 0 week 1. I want to KO one Mon. <laughs> Stays in. Okay, that means he's going for Earthquake. Parting shot. Good play. I should have seen that. I should have seen that. I should have known that was coming. Okay. I assume now he just wants to go Scizor. Because I can't KO him. Right? Well, I mean, with rocks, I it's not impossible. Scizor... How much is Scizor Close Combat doing to me? I will note, I think his Scizor is banned. Adamant, Technician... Choice band. Let's say max attack. Flamethrower is a roll. Flamethrower is a roll. We've got some damage on Insen. Like a G6. Hey, he goes out to Latios. Me not having my rocks up is so big, dude. At this point, I just kind of got to stay in and let this thing rock. Bax could potentially I shard this thing if I get it under half. Bax can... I don't think Earthquake is killing the Ensign. But it'll be close, and unless he brought CC, which I haven't seen, he has Lariat, Parting Shot. He's gotta have a fire move. He could afford to bring CC. Although the fact that he didn't Earthquake Stun Tank makes me think he didn't bring it. I don't think he brought Trailblaze. Draco Meteor. Yep. So he's whiter, Draco. Which is totally fine. He is not whiter. That's huge. Uh, at this point, I think I just want to collect Dark Pulse. Adios. It is at minus two special attack. I do not think this thing can kill me. Uh, that did how much to me? Draco Meteor. That did some max investment. That has got to be specs. That has got to be specs. He wants to switch here. He wants to switch here. But out to what? What does he want to switch out to? At minus one special attack on my end, Dark Pulse is doing 26%. I'm gonna go for it. I'll go again. I need a crit. I didn't wish it to make that. Damn, dude. Damn. Alright, well, I gotta let this thing go down. He didn't bring Petcheron. I gotta let this thing go down, and then Bax can come in and revenge this. Although he, he's going to see the Ice Shard coming, so I probably shouldn't go for that. I should probably go for EQ. I think it is very, very hard to bring this back. They go again. Wow. Wow. He went for I should have gotten a Mew there, actually. Although, rocks were up, so it wouldn't really particularly matter. Uh, Actually, I'm going to go Mew here. I'm going to go Mew here, because he cannot stay in. So I can get a free Calm Mind. And then I can iron defense in front of the scissor as he bug bites. Activate my weakness policy. I can drain and kiss this. 
I think free Calm Mind here is big, though. He can flip turn. No, he just he just withdraws. Yeah, he specs. It's not impossible to bring this back. Average Tusks. Okay. I'm gonna CM. But at this point, he knows I'm stored power. And knockoff is not killing me. Especially if I set up iron defense. Do I want to go all in on this? At this point, I kind of have to. I'm an iron defense. EQ. He knows I'm weakness policy. I'm going to go for it again. I'm going to go for iron defense specifically again. Uh, Greninja's physical. Meloetta's mixed. And Sin comes out. Yep, that's... Mm, that's not great. I think I'm in range of Darkest Lariat. Yep, I am. Alright, I think that is the game. I'm going to be honest, I think that is the game. Is he la He's Lariat for sure. Let me just see. Because I'll be at... If I... Mm, I, did, I really got 6-0'd week 1. Wow. If he's anything less than max, he needs to be, like, no attack investment in order to not KO me here. He needs to be no attack investment to not KO me here. Wow. I got 6-0'd week 1. Wow, dude. I played way too passively is the thing. I didn't know I did. That's great. That's wild. That is wild. That is wild. I need to pray for the lowest roll in the universe. I don't think I kill, <laughs> is the thing. Uh. Okay. Hang on. Let me check my boosts. Okay, I'm plus one attack, plus four defense, plus four special attack, plus two special defense. Uh, he's still KOing me here. This would have been really, really crazy against Latios. I need an ultimate crit. I did not get it. GG's. Fuck. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. Yep, play it. GG. GG. That's all I can say. I played really bad. <laughs> Alright, well. Nah, yeah, he can just go to Latios. I think the play I should make is... Just... Yeah, I think the play that I should make is actually Blade Rush, because Lati Latios is KOing me anyway, so... This, I think, is the correct play. Although Scizor could just come out. Actually, Earthquake is the better play. Yo, I got 6 0 week 1! That sucks! <laughs> wow, dude. Wow, dude. Five owed. Backs, KOs, and Sin with Blave Rush. Although now he can just bring in Scizor. Uh, I think it was. It was Latios. Dunkan KO'd. Yep, GG. GG! You and... Yeah. 
Scizor KOs Bax with Bullet Punch. Wow. I am very upset at myself for that. I know I can play better than that. Wow. It was very, very lucky. I think I needed to... I, th I think I needed a Draining Kiss on the one turn. I, I definitely... I could have played that endgame a lot better. I needed a Draining Kiss the one turn. Against... Insane. Even then, I don't think I was living, though. Or it, it could have... Based on his investment, it could have been a roll, but that roll was not in my favor. Uh, even then... Even if I did live the second time... Latios comes in, and I don't think I outspeed Latios. So, it would have come down to a pretty similar situation. I think that my real misplay was actually Whirlwinding. Uh, I should have definitely used Stealth Rock again uh, on his Dawn Fan. For sure, I should have done that. Greninja Trailblaze. Greninja Trailblaze. Greninja Trailblaze, and he brought Mixed... He brought Mixed Malawada. Damn. 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 I, I, and that's another thing. That's another thing. I let Gastrodon go way too early. <laughs> I let Gastrodon go way too early. Alright, well, that is the end of this episode, guys. We are 0-1, minus 5 in differential. Oof! That definitely puts me at the lowest spot right now. And if someone somehow did worse than me this week, I will be honestly shocked. Alright, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. That'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, I forgot my fucking outro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh... Also, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already so that you can join as soon as freaking possible. I'm plugging everything else. Be sure to click the bell so that you get notified whenever you upload any of these crappy videos. But apart from that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. This is Demigod Shmurda. Edge!